A thief uses a brick to smash his way into a downriver business. And it was all caught on camera. It happened early in the morning at the Witch Witch Sandwich Shop on Belleville Road in Van Buren Township. That's where Jermont Terry is live tonight. Jermont, a pretty unusual target here. Yeah, Kimberly, when most people think of a smash and grab, a sandwich shop is not the first business that comes to mind. Now, the guy that you will see on video either didn't realize that cameras were rolling and simply didn't care when he threw a brick right through this front door with other people around. At the Witch Witch on Belleville Road, the sandwiches are cooked to order. But someone forgot to tell this guy, throwing a brick through the front door will not get you any faster service. The alarm goes off and goes silent to the police department. But it's clear this man wasn't looking to place an order when he broke in at 6.30 in the morning. Starbucks was open. There was a lot of people walking by. There was traffic pouring in and out. Video even captured the burglar walking by numerous times before finally barging in. Once inside, you can see him hide when the car's headlights shine light on the dark restaurant. And then once that hides out, comes over to this corner, and you can see him looking. If you look closer, the man wore a headset device police and owner Ron Buckner say stands out. Like a drive through headset from maybe that someone who works at another restaurant. Once inside, the crook went straight for the register. But remember, the store was closed. There was no cash inside. His mind was so worried on the register, he didn't realize there was some tip money in the tip jar. Yeah, and there was you know, there was ten, fifteen dollars in there. Just he left with nothing but the empty register. Van Buren Township Police fear this guy may hit another business. I mean, if they're desperate enough to break into an empty business, they need money. It doesn't mean they wouldn't break into a house or worse, rob someone. Since many people were out that morning. And while this thief got away with nothing, he did leave with uh, about fifteen thousand, excuse me, fifteen hundred dollars worth of damages at this store. Of course, if you recognize this guy, you know what to do: call police or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in Van Buren Township tonight, Jermont Terry, Local Four. So, do police think that he's connected to any other crimes like this in the area, Jermont? Kimberly, Kimberly, that is something that Van Buren, the detective here in Van Buren Township, is looking into. He's going to send that image out to other agencies mm -hmm. to see if they have any cases similar. But they do believe this guy is local, potentially working at a nearby restaurant or business, especially because he has that headset that he had on that night. Right. Maybe somebody recognize him and uh, we'll speak up. All right, Jermont.